y'all, it's Christina with Stina Resells. I'm a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. And if you watch my channel, you know I do a lot of thread up unboxings on this channel. It's really my favorite way to source because it's easy and it's fun. And today I have a different type of video for you. I've been thinking a lot about um, tracking the costs of thread up boxes and how much I'm making per box. Um, most of the time when I'm calculating and the way that I do it for taxes is of the cost per item. So if a thread up fun box is $32 and you get 10 items, then your cost of goods is $3.20 per item. But how much am I actually making cumulative on one of these boxes? So I'm going to start doing some videos where I'm recapping what has sold from the boxes and how much I've actually made on the box. So today I'm going to do a recap on one of the DIY designer boxes. It was the very first one that I did. If you haven't watched that unboxing, I'm going to link it up here so that you can watch it. Um, I'll also put a link in the description um, so that you can check that out if you want to watch the actual unboxing of that box. All of the items in that box have been listed for a while. This is a box that I got last year, and most of the items have sold. So it's a pretty good recap. And this box was not one of my best designer boxes that I've gotten. So I feel like as I start to do these videos, there are going to be other designer boxes that are going to make a lot more money. But I wanted to start here with the first one that I did. So the first item that I got in the box was a Sandro dress. It was like blush pink, um, really pretty feminine dress. The problem with this dress is that it had pulls all through the material and the lining on the inside was completely stained with like what looked like self tanner. So I spent a lot of time on that piece trying to make it decent enough to even list. Um, I did get all the stains out. So that was the first step. And then I had to go through and try to fix the poles, which the poles weren't just little poles. I mean, it was almost like a run all the way through the dress in like three different spots. Um, I worked those out and I did lit when I did the listing, I did make sure to note that it did have some of those poles in it, um, but it was in much better condition after I worked on it for a while than before. So somebody purchased that from me on Poshmark along with another dress. So we don't really have the exact amount that I made off of that because I had two items that sold. The bundle of the two items um, sold for $50. So if I just divided equally, that means that this piece sold for $25. Uh, the next item that was in the box was a Burberry polo, uh, kind of a light green men's polo shirt with the... Hey, check um, print kind of on the inside of the collar. And I listed it briefly, but decided that I was going to try to send some things into the real real. So I sent that into the real real. So in doing this recap, I'm like realizing how long ago I sent this into the real real, and they still have not listed it for sale. It is in my account saying coming soon which it has been saying for months. So I'm concerned that maybe they've lost it. And I've heard that people have lost items after sending it into the real world. So I am going to have to, now that's fresh in my mind, reach out to them and find out what is going on with this shirt. So that's a zero dollars right now because I don't even know if I'm going to get it back. Um, the next item in the box was a Burberry coat. It was a vintage coat, really nice, um, green kind of oversized coat. It was in great condition, um, just not the more modern or popular style that sells now. Um, I had this listed for a while and actually in hindsight, I probably would have sent it into the real real, even though I just got finished talking trash about the real real. <laughs> um, but I feel like the vintage designer coats tend to sell better on there than when you sell them individually. Um, but I did get an offer from a lady on eBay um, for $80, and she lived in London, so it was an international sale, which means they cannot return it. Um, and so I went ahead and accepted that, and she gave me great reviews. I mean, it was in great condition. I wasn't worried about that. But sometimes with vintage pieces, you worry a little bit about the sizing. 
Um, so that was kind of what I worried about there. Anyway, so I got $80 for that Burberry coat. The next item in the box was a Furla purse, black patent leather. This purse was a disaster. I mean, really worn um, on the corners. There were dings in the leather, deep scratches down the leather. And because it is like a black patent leather, every little ding and scratch and scuff was like white. Um, and so it just looks terrible. This is still listed in my closet. I've dropped the price so many times. I mean, I, at the, I'm probably just going to have to donate it. It's in such rough shape. I can't repair it. I don't know why anyone would purchase it just because it's, it's not in great shape. Um, but anyway, so that's a zero on that one. The next item that I unboxed was a pair of Alexander McQueen sneakers, which was my favorite piece from the box. Um, they were white with two large Velcro straps on the top. And the back was like a black kind of velvet that had the Alexander McQueen name on the back. I did not list these right away. I actually held on to them until recently because I have kind of a bin of items that I'm gonna try to work on or fix. And they didn't need work. They weren't in bad condition, but they were dirty. They're white, right? And I had in my mind that I was gonna clean these up. And I worked on them a little bit and didn't get very far. And I thought, forget it. I'm just listing them. So I listed them. They got a ton of attention. Um, someone made me an offer on eBay and I accepted and they never paid. Don't you hate that? Anyway, so then I relisted and a lady on Poshmark reached out to me and said that she has had her eye on them and really wanted them, but that she was waiting on her paycheck. So I did reserve them for her and then she ended up coming back and purchasing them. So those sold for $199. The next item in the box was a pair of John Galliano sunglasses. They were uh, green, like green across the top, a gold frame uh, along the bottom. These were also a disaster. The case was a mess. The lenses were scratched. The frame was even cracked. I mean, they were in really rough shape. I almost thought that these would also be an item I would have to donate, but I did list them. I made sure to include all of the damage and someone made me an offer on eBay for $25 and I happily accepted that. Um, so those went off to that customer on eBay. The last item in the box, actually this was my favorite piece in the box, but the last piece in the box or pieces was a pair of Jimmy Choo black block heels and they were beautiful, like classic Jimmy Choo. Um, the leather was super soft, the big chunky heel. Oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. Um, there was a little bit of damage to the heel, kind of some nicks in the leather, but overall in really good shape. My sister-in-law saw the video and was like, I want those shoes. So she bought them from me for $100 and she looks great in them. So anyways, that was the, um, that was how much I sold each of the items for that were in the box. The box itself, so it includes seven items, costs $120. So that was my cost for the box. Um, the amount sold, so if you add up everything that I have sold, which there are two items from this box that haven't sold, that Furla purse and the lost Burberry shirt. But from the rest of the items, um, I sold them for a total of $429. So then if you take out the cost of the box and my fees and things like that through Poshmark, my profit on this box was $264. So overall, I'm really happy with that, um, considering two of the items were a lost cause and then two of the other items just were in really bad condition. So um, anyways, thanks for joining me. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I'm going to start going through. It's been something that's been in my mind that I wanted to do for myself 
is to kind of go through what I got in each box and what I've sold the items for and figure out how much profit I'm actually making off of a designer box or off of a fun box or off of a shoe box. So I'm going to go ahead and record these for you guys as I go through them and let you know how much money I'm actually making on these boxes. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. If there's any suggestions you have, don't hesitate to let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.